Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ashley and we've got Eva. But don't just sit there, puppies. Come on, on your feet. We're going to play a wee game called Grandmother's Footsteps. What did I hear? Oh, oh they're very good, they're very still. Who's moving? Let's see if I can catch you moving. <laughs> well done, my girls, that was brilliant. Well, we've got Ashley and we've got Eva, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Lisa <laughs> with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> and Lisa, come away through high five. Thank you. Jewels of all jewels. We've been playing grandmother's footsteps before you got here. Oh, all that behind you. <laughs> Makes me think of the pantomime that Raymond and I are putting on in Drumtown. Oh, of course, your panto. Well, that gives me an idea. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a pantomime dame? <laughs> and we can sit in our seats, dear. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, how's your pantomime coming along? Dick Whittington, isn't it? That's right. Oh, rehearsals are hilarious. You should see Raymond in his dame's wig. Oh, I bet he suits it. He does. And Lisa's just dying to come and see the show. Oh, me too. Now, it's in Drumtown Playhouse, isn't it? That's right. But don't worry about getting there. I'll take you in my taxi with Lisa. Oh, thanks, Poppet. You know, for you and Raymond, all the world's a stage. We just love performing everywhere. Wow, look at Claude. Behind you. <laughs> oh, Claude. We could have you in our panto dress like that. Well, I'd best be off to work now. <gasps> For me? Oh, it's just a little cat like Dick Whittington's. <laughs> you have fun today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on then, Tina. Now remember, all the world's a stage. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnel. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter on the streets. Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speak to work. Phew. Well, what now? Of course. I have to get ready for work. <laughs> hmm. The engine sounded funny then. I thought so. There's something wrong. Ah, it's the alternator. Right now, where is my... Oh, there it is. Oh, that's me. Oh, now, this spare alternator looks a bit old, but it might do the job until I get a chance to buy a new one. Sorry, Tina. You got uh, a problem? Yes. My alternator's broken. I've got the spare one that I can fit, but I don't think it'll last long. Hey, my mate Terry can help you out. He works at a university and he knows about everything to do with electrics. I'm sure he can fix your alternator. Ah, 
Oh, that's brilliant. Here you go. Thanks, Mickey right. John. OK. Yeah, shove it in my bag. <laughs> right, I'll be back later. Oh. Bye. Bye. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll get you to Drumtown to see our panto. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo, that's for me. We've nearly got our panto picnic finished. What about our beautiful princess? Will we give her a lovely sketch? Yeah. There we are. <laughs> and there's our magic wand. Are you looking forward to seeing Mum and Dad on the stage? Ah, uh, me too. <laughs> Are you working hard, Mummy? That's it, all done. What are you doing, my dove? I'm fixing the engine. The alternator went up the spout. Jolly good. But shouldn't you be at the Drumtown Playhouse getting the stage ready for our panto? Yes, I've just popped in to get my wig. Oh, <laughs> of course. But don't worry, I'll be there in plenty of time before you arrive with Granny Murray and Lisa in your taxi. Oh, great. I'll see you there. Mm. Mwah. Mm. Mwah. <laughs> well, now that I've fitted the spare alternator into my taxi engine, it's time I got down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on traveling and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my brain. Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my taxi pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Engine still doesn't sound right. Ooh! <laughs> you still here? Oh! <laughs> yes, love of my life. I was just going over my lines. I'm word perfect. <gasps> That's my boy. But now I must dash to drum town. Uh, maybe you should take the wig off first, Raymond. Oh, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> and after I pick up Granny Murray and Lisa, we'll be right behind you. Mwah. I'm going to pick you up at Granny Murray's soon, Lisa. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. <sighs> Mum will be here soon, my darling. She won't be long now, Angel. Don't you worry, Lisa. Mum will be here to pick us up soon. <laughs> Where are you, Mummy? Catastrophe! I got chatting to Chuck in the platform and I've missed my train to Drumtown. Oh, well, don't worry. We can all go over together in my taxi. Granny Murray and Lisa would love to ride with the star of the show. Good thinking. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! The spare alternator has packed up and I haven't had a chance to get a new one. Oh, Mickey John. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Did your friend at university manage to mend my alternator? No. My friend wasn't quite as good as I thought he was. Uh, he did manage to take your alternator apart, but uh, he couldn't put it back together again. Oh! I am 
I'm meant to be taking Granny Murray and Lisa to Drumtown to see the panto, but Raymond's missed his train and now I can't get my taxi to move. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At ten o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. I told her about the panto that Raymond and I were doing later, and I promised Granny Murray that I'd take her to Drumtown for the panto. At eleven o'clock, I got to the garage. But my taxi had a problem with its engine. The alternator was broken. Mickey John called by. He took the alternator away to his friend at the university. Then I fitted a spare alternator to keep my taxi going in the meantime. At 12 o'clock, Raymond came to the garage to find some panto props. At 4 o'clock, I realised I was late to pick up Granny Murray and Lisa. Then Raymond arrived. He had missed his train. So we got into my taxi, but it wouldn't start. And Mickey John's friend hadn't mended the alternator either. So no one can go to Drumtown to see our panto. Now remember, all the world's a stage. All the world's a stage. Well, of course. We can't do the panto in Drumtown, so we'll do it right here in the garage. Right. Mickey John, you go and find Granny Murray and Lisa and anyone else you can round up. Raymond and I will be telling the story of Dick Whittington and his cat right here in the Archer's Theatre. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that song. I'm going to finish the job before I finish the song. Ladies and gentlemen, the Arches Theatre Company proudly presents Dick Whittington and his cat. <laughs> oh, I'm fed up just being a poor orphan boy with nothing to eat. I'm off to London. And I'll make my fortune on my name's not Dick Whittington. Mm, I could do with a kip. <laughs> oh, who's this asleep on my doorstep, poor lad? Oh, I'm Aldermere Fitzwarren. Any work going, Gov? Oh, indeed, you can work in the kitchen. I'll just call my daughter Alice. Alice? Yes, Dad. Oh. <laughs> Alice, this is Dick. He's going to stay in the spare room. Night, night. Squeaks. <laughs> oh! Oh, crumbs! My bedroom's full of rats! First thing tomorrow, I'm going to the shops to buy a cat. Ah! I'd like a cat, please. A pussycat, right? Um, that'll be one penny, please. <laughs> Here, puss, 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 puss. Me, yeah. <laughs> Come on, puss. Let's go. Hey, puss! That ship's sailing to Zanzibar. We can have an adventure. All aboard! <laughs> Hello, young man. Welcome to Zanzibar. <laughs> Hello, mush. My land is over on this land, Luke. Oh! I'm the king of the rats who will watch it. You don't scare me or my cat. Pop it, ratty. Ah, a Maggie. I'm off. <laughs> Bye, rat face. Will this do? Oh, thanks. Come on, puss. Let's go home and ask Alice to marry me. Me, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Dick. Any chance of marrying Alice and living happily ever after? Oh, I don't see why not. Oh, Dick, I'm so happy. <laughs> We're ahead, darling. Oh, yes. I think Miss enjoyed it. <laughs> Your mum's here, Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. Hello, Mummy. Oh. 
thank you. Arr, come here, doing squeezy cuddle. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. All the world's a stage. It saved the day. Oh, I'm pleased. Right, come on, you two. Let's get you home. <laughs> come on, Lisa. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? No, it's my time away. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hacking, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, eating things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. Was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pantomime dame because we were getting ready to go and watch Dick Whittington and his cat. Raymond and Tina were both the stars of the show. A bit later, we sat on the doorstep for ages waiting for Tina to pick us up in our taxi. Then there was a change of plan. Instead of doing the panto in Drumtown, Tina and Raymond made a special stage at the taxi garage and we watched their panto there. Oh, it was really funny. Raymond had to keep changing his costumes. It was lucky that Tina remembered that all the world's a stage. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's get moving. We're going to play a game of crazy golf. Now, put this down here. This is our target. OK, Stephen, you can go first. Right, ready, Stephen? Now watch out, Megan, my love. Better, you're fabulous. There you go. Oh, good shot, Megan. Right, well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Stephen. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Samson, everyone. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh. Whoa, inside crazy golf. That looks like fun on a chilly day like today. Oh, it is a cool hey. day, isn't it? Oh, I know. Why don't you wrap Claude up for a cool day? Mm -hmm. See how many layers you can put on him. It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. And with Samson snug in his basket, why don't we go and cuddle up into the armchairs? Good idea. <laughs> So what's up with the Crazy Golf, Granny Murray? Well, it's the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament today. Oh, is it really? Yes. I'm going to take the children and Samson along to watch. Oh, you do amaze me, Granny Murray. Your interest knows no bounds. Oh, what do you mean? Well, fancy liking golf. Oh, why not? My Angus loved it. He played it in all weathers. He played in the sun and he played in the rain. Oh, with one of those great big golfing umbrellas. That's the one. <laughs> he even played it in the snow once too. I've never understood the game myself. All that hitting of balls into sand pits. Oh, but it's good exercise, eh? All that walking. Mm, I suppose. <laughs> Do you know, Angus and I went to play golf once on a cold winter's day. He was carrying his golf clubs and I was carrying a picnic basket. And, oh, well, it was quite a long walk and I was getting quite hot. As you would carrying a picnic. That's right. But eventually, when we arrived at the golf course, Angus tried to take out his clubs and they were frozen solid in the bag. Because I'd got so hot walking, I didn't realise how cold it really was. Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's true, you know. Sometimes it's colder than you think. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think Claude is in any danger of freezing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you won't feel the cold through that lot, Claude. No, we must remember and wrap up warm like Claude when we go to see the crazy golf today. <laughs> oh, have fun, Samson. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, Dr. Juno. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Megan. You take that golf ball to remind you of where Samson's going today. I will. Mm. 
Now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way So fine, so enjoy my cycling time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way. To work today, looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. There. That will remind me of Samson having fun whilst I do some work. Oh, Nurse Hendry, what's that about? Sorry, that's what you shout out when you whack a golf ball into the air. Oh, and it looks like somebody hit this ball a very long way. Oi, that's mine. Granny Murray gave me this this morning and it arrived here in my pocket, not through the air. Granny Murray's into golf, is she? Apparently so. She's going to be watching the crazy golf tournament this afternoon. <laughs> well, I'll see her there then. What, you're going to be watching the tournament as well? Watching? No. Playing? Yes. I've got all my gear here and everything. See? Ta-da! Oh, wow. This is exciting. And look, you've even got a little woolly hat and everything. <laughs> oh, don't you wear this hat until I put a Harlequin Hospital badge on this. The badge will bring you good luck. Oh, thanks. Uh, you remember I'm knocking off early today? Uh-huh. Don't worry. Oh. Samson's going to be watching Nurse Hendry play this afternoon. How cool is that? I love to skip in the Riversy Ping, Riversy Ping, go by the sea. I love to skip in the Riversy Ping, go Riversy Ping, go that's for me. Order, you need to keep moving to stay warm. So let's march on this spot and shake our hands. Now run fast you can. Woohoo! And star jumps. Woo! Are you warm for now, Megan? Yeah. Oh, so am I. I hope Dr. Juno's nice and warm where she is. Sorry to interrupt, but there's a friend of yours here and I really think you should take a look at him. OK. Who is it? It's Raymond. Oh, hiya, Raymond. <laughs> What's happened? Oh, don't tell me. You fell off your stilts. <laughs> you slipped in a banana skin. You had to go up skateboarding. Doctor, you know, I really don't think Raymond's very well. Oh, um, it's very shivery. Raymond, can you stop shivering for me, please? <sighs> oh, good. Can you tell me what happened? Well... I was changing trains, but I left my hat and my coat on the first train, and then I was standing around for ages waiting on the second train, but without my hat and coat. By the time the train did come along, I was not, not feeling too good. Well, it's a very cold day. You're left outside without your hat and coat. I think you might have mild hypothermia. Oh. But the fact that you could actually tell us what happened is a good sign. Oh. <laughs> I'll get him something to drink then. Just some warm water with some sugar. I'll phone Tina and tell her what's happened. Right. Okay. Well, you sit tight, Raymond. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
poor Raymond. Left outside without his hat and coat. But we'll take care of him. I'm gonna get down to some hard work. <laughs> Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolley sliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heart beat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take away your worries, yeah Oh, how's Raymond? Oh, uh, Lisa and Tina have come to visit him and he's back to his usual chatty self. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, so you're off? Yep, off to the crazy golf tournament. <sighs> Hole in one and the crowd go wild. Oh, good luck, Nurse Hendry. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, Samson and Granny Murray will be watching you. Oh, my wacky dog. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. That's it, my darlings. Eat up. It's important to get a good hot meal inside you before you go out into the cold. Keeps you warm from the inside out. <laughs> Doesn't it, Samson? <laughs> he's got to keep warm too, even though he's got a lovely big coat. There we are, Samson. <laughs> we'll tell Dr Juno what a good boy you are. <laughs> Right, Samson, I better get down to some work. Okay. Paper. Ooh. Paper. Paper. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. This is Nurse Hendry's woolly hat. Oh. I've been working hard all day looking after everyone, and now Nurse Hendry's gone and left his woolly hat. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I arrived at Granny Murray's with Samson. The children were playing a game of crazy golf. They were playing indoors because it was cold outside. At 10 o'clock, Nurse Hendry popped in to tell me that he would be playing in the River Sea Finger Crazy Golf Tournament. He was planning on wrapping up nice and warm against the cold. I borrowed Nurse Hendry's hat so I could stick a Harlequin Hospital badge on it. I thought it might bring him luck in the tournament. At 11 o'clock, we had a bit of an emergency. Raymond came into the hospital suffering from mild hypothermia. He'd been left waiting for a train without his coat and hat. He was cold and shivery and needed to be warmed up with a warm, sweet drink. At two o'clock, Nurse Hendry came to tell me that Raymond was feeling much better. Nurse Hendry left for the crazy golf tournament. At three o'clock, I realised that he set off for the tournament without his woolly hat because I had it to stick on a badge. Now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Sometimes it's colder than you think. Well, today may be colder than Nurse Hendry thinks. Well, I need to get his woolly hat to him because I don't want him to end up as shivery as Raymond. But it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, let the 
tournament begin! <laughs> I better get back to work. I hope Samson has a great time at the crazy golf tournament. Unlucky hat. <laughs> oh, Samson, do you want to go? Oh, never mind, darling. We'll be going home soon, and Dr. Ginny will be coming to pick you up. Wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it's colder than you think. It saved the day. Oh, gracious! Come on now. I want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in lots and lots of winter woolies because it was very cold outside today and we didn't want Claude getting chilly. Dr Juno came along with Samson. She saw that we'd been playing a made-up game of crazy golf. We played it inside because it was very cold out. I told Dr Juno that I was going to take Samson and the children along to see the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament later on. After Dr Juno left for work, we wrapped up in our hats, scarves and gloves. We ran about outside for a while, but it was nice to come back into the warm. Later on, we had a good hot meal so that when we went to see the crazy golf tournament, we'd be warm from the inside out. Dr Juno remembered that I told her, sometimes it's colder than you think. She took Nurse Hendry's hat along to the crazy golf tournament. He hadn't realised quite how cold it was without his hat and he was very glad when Dr Juno brought it along. He even got a hole in one. Good old Dr. Juno, keeping everybody well and warm. <laughs> I hope you're feeling well and warm today. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ashley and we've got Eva. But don't just sit there, puppies. Come on, on your feet. We're going to play a wee game called Grandmother's Footsteps. What did I hear? Oh, oh, they're very good, they're very still. <gasps> Who's moving? Let's see if I can catch you moving. <laughs> well done, my girls, that was brilliant. Well, we've got Ashley and we've got Eva. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Lisa <laughs> with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> and Lisa. Come on, we three, honey pie. Big <laughs> Jewels of all the jewels. We've been playing Grandmother's Footsteps before you got here. Oh, all that behind you. <laughs> Makes me think of the pantomime that Raymond and I are putting on in Drumtown. Oh, of course you're panto. Well, that gives me an idea. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a pantomime dame? <laughs> and we can sit in our seats, dear. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. 
<laughs> so, how's your pantomime coming along? Dick Whittington, isn't it? <gasps> That's right. Oh, rehearsals are hilarious. You should see Raymond in his dame's wig. <laughs> oh, I bet he suits it. He does. And Lisa's just dying to come and see the show. Oh, me too. Now, it's in Drumtown Playhouse, isn't it? That's right. But don't worry about getting there. I'll take you in my taxi with Lisa. Oh, thanks, Poppet. You know, for you and Raymond, all the world's a stage. We just love performing everywhere. Wow, look at Claude. Behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claude, we could have you in our panto dress like that. <laughs> well, I'd best be off to work yeah. now. <gasps> For me? Oh, it's just a little cat like Dick Whittington's. <laughs> you have fun today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye bye, see you later. Come on then, Tina. <laughs> now remember, all the world's a stage. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnel. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter under streets. No squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speed to work. Well, what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> hmm. The engine sounded funny then. I thought so. There's something wrong. Alternator. Right now, where is my. Oh, there it is. Take that Now, this spare alternator looks a bit old, but it might do the job until I get a chance to buy a new one. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh sorry, Tina. You've got uh, a problem? Yes. My alternator's broken. I've got the spare one that I can fit, but I don't think it'll last long. Hey, my mate Terry can help you out. He works at a university and he knows about everything to do with electrics. I'm sure he can fix your alternator. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks, Mickey right. John. OK. Yeah, shove it in my bag. <laughs> right, I'll be back later. Oh, Bye. Bye. <laughs> don't worry, Lisa. I'll get you to Drumtown to see our panto. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. Right, we've nearly got our panto picnic finished. What about our beautiful princess? Will we give her a lovely sketch? Yeah. There we are. <laughs> and there's our magic wand. Are you looking forward to seeing Mum and Dad on the stage? Uh, me too. <laughs> Are you working hard, Mommy? That's it, all done. What are you doing, my dove? I'm fixing the engine. The alternator went up the spout. Jolly good. Shouldn't you be the Drumtown Playhouse getting the stage ready for our panto? Yes, I've just popped in to get my wig. Oh, <laughs> of course. But don't worry, I'll be there in plenty of time before you arrive with Granny Murray and Lisa in your taxi. Oh, great. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now that I've fitted the spare alternator into my taxi engine, it's time I got down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep the traffic and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my brain.
here. Let the busy lady up with the taxi takes the train. Oh, the radio calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my taxi pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. engine still doesn't sound right. Ooh! <laughs> you still here? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, love of my life. I was just going over my lines. I'm word perfect. <gasps> That's my boy. But now I must dash to drum town. Uh, maybe you should take the wig off first, Raymond. Oh, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> and after I pick up Granny Murray and Lisa, we'll be right behind you. Mwah. I'm going to pick you up at Granny Murray's soon, Lisa. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. <sighs> Mum will be here soon, my darling. She won't be long now, Angel. Don't you worry, Lisa. Mum will be here to pick us up soon. <laughs> Where are you, Mummy? Catastrophe! I got chatting to Chuck in the platform and I've missed my train to Drumtown. Oh, well, don't worry. We can all go over together in my taxi. Granny Murray and Lisa would love to ride with the star of the show. Good thinking. <laughs> oh, no! Alternator has packed up, and I haven't had a chance to get a new one. Oh, Nicky John! <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Did your friend at university manage to mend my alternator? No, my friend wasn't quite as good as I thought he was. Uh, he did manage to take your alternator apart, but uh, he couldn't put it back together again. Oh! I am meant to be taking Granny Murray and Lisa to Drumtown to see the panto. But Raymond's missed his train, and now I can't get my taxi to move. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At ten o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. I told her about the panto that Raymond and I were doing later, and I promised Granny Murray that I'd take her to Drumtown for the panto. At eleven o'clock, I got to the garage. But my taxi had a problem with its engine. The alternator was broken. Mickey John called by. He took the alternator away to his friend at the university. Then I fitted a spare alternator to keep my taxi going in the meantime. At 12 o'clock, Raymond came to the garage to find some panto props. At 4 o'clock, I realised I was late to pick up Granny Murray and Lisa. Then Raymond arrived. He had missed his train. So we got into my taxi, but it wouldn't start. And Mickey John's friend hadn't mended the alternator either so no one can go to Drumtown to see our panto. Now remember, all the world's a stage. All the world's a stage. Well, of course. We can't do the panto in Drumtown, so we'll do it right here in the garage. Right, Mickey John, you go and find Granny Murray and Lisa and anyone else you can round up. Raymond and I will be telling the story of Dick Whittington and his cat right here in the Archer's Theatre. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? 
Sleep on my doorstep, poor lad. Oh, I'm Aldermere Fitzwarren. Any work going, Gov? Oh, indeed, you can work in the kitchen. I'll just call my daughter Alice. Alice? Yes, Dad? Oh. <laughs> Alice, this is Dick. He's going to stay in the spare room. Night, night. Bedrooms full of rats. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to the shops to buy a cat. Ah, I'd like a cat, please. A pussy cat, right? Um, that'll be one penny, please. <laughs> Here, puss, 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 puss. Me, yeah. <laughs> Come on, puss. Let's go. Hey, puss. That ship's sailing to Zanzibar. We can have an adventure. All aboard! <laughs> Hello, young man. Welcome to Zanzibar. <laughs> Hello, Mush. My land is overrun with rats, Luke. Oh. Oh, I'm the king of the rats who so watch it. You don't scare me or my cat. Hop it, Ratty. Ah. Ah, a moggy. Oh, I'm off. <laughs> Bye, rat face. Will this do? Oh, thanks. Come on, puss. Let's go home and ask Alice to marry me. Me yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dick. Any chance of marrying Alice and living happily ever after? I don't see why not. Oh, Dick, I'm so happy. <laughs> We're ahead, darling. Oh, yes. I think Miss enjoyed it. <laughs> Tina! <laughs> Come on, we in. Your mum's here, Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. Oh, thank you. Oh, come here, big squeezy cuddle. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. All the world's a stage. It saved the day. Oh, I'm pleased. Right, come on, you two. Let's get you home. <laughs> come on, Lisa. Bye-bye, <laughs> my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? No, it's time. Drive time. <laughs> and I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a pantomime dame because we were getting ready to go and watch Dick Whittington and his cat. Raymond and Tina were both the stars of the show. A bit later, we sat on the doorstep for ages waiting for Tina to pick us up in a taxi. Then there was a change of plan. Instead of doing the panto in Drumtown, Tina and Raymond made a special stage at the taxi garage and we watched their panto there. Oh, it was really funny. Raymond had to keep changing his costumes. It was lucky that Tina remembered that all the world's a stage. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <laughs> He's here today. 
Well, we've got Brandon and we've got a deal. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> And we've got a deal. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, no. Spikes are those coming down the stairs. Oh, no. it's Lisa with Tina. Hello, dear. <laughs> Tina. Big hero. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, Lisa. Oh, gosh, I am already shaking like a jelly today. Oh, why is that? Well, you see, Mickey John told his head teacher that I'm a brilliant actor. So his head teacher has asked me to go along to the school to do a special performance as the washing wizard. Oh, that's brilliant. I love those stories. <gasps> Guys, why don't you dress Claude up as the washing wizard? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and we can have a wee seat in that chat. You can stop your worrying. Okay. <laughs> oh. I got oh. oh, the washing wizard always makes me giggle. Yes, because he loves washing up. Now, now, how does the speech go? Um, uh, mimini, pimini, mimini, pimini. It's from that story, uh, the washing wizard and the blocked up sink. <laughs> mum, 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 mum. Where? Where are my trusty rubber ducks? <laughs> ducks? I mean gloves. Oh, where are my trusty rubber gloves? The vacuum, ha! Tis all blocked up. <laughs> are you sure you mean the vacuum? Shh, trying to remember lines. <laughs> where are my trusty rubber gloves? They, they sink. Tis all blocked up. Just like, just like. My nose! Oh, no, that's not right. <laughs> oh, oh, the sink is blocked up, just like my nose. <laughs> that's very funny. Granny Murray, I'm meant to be sure what a good actor I am. Not being a funny clown. Oh, everybody likes a good laugh. Talking of which, look at Claude. Good, <laughs> good, <laughs> Oh, Claude, you make a wonderful washing wizard. <laughs> well done, everyone. Oh, is that for me, Lise? Oh, the washing up glove. Maybe this will help me remember my lines for the washing wizard speech. <laughs> bye bye, darling. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Come on, then, Tina. Now remember, everybody likes a good laugh. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter under streets. No squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speed to work. Well, what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> All dressed and ready to go. How did the washing wizard speech go? Good morning, Tina. Hi. Hi, Louie. Hi, Chuck. Could you do us a favour, babe? Of course. What's up? 
We want to sing this funny new song called Flattery's Motor Car on the ferry later. It will have everyone in fits, but we need all sorts of props to make funny sounds. So we were wondering if we could look through your theatre props. Sure, help yourself. They're all over there. I've just got to rehearse my speech for later. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. Okay. So, the washing was a spouting. Oh, sorry, Tina. Yep, all done. We'll pop back later and pick everything up. Bye. 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 <laughs> Peace at last. I wonder if you're having a noisy time, Lisa. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea are you ready to have a good laugh? Okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Hunger the Incredible Hunking Dog. <laughs> oh, and I am very, very hungry. Oh, children, what can I eat? Oh, a cabbage. Do I like cabbages? No, no I don't like cabbages. Very stinky. <laughs> What's this? A banana? Do I like this? No. No? <gasps> What's this? Sausages. Do I like sausages? <laughs> you were right, children. Well done. I love my sausages. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, was that good fun? Yes. <laughs> oh, Lisa, I hope your mum's having as much fun at work as we're having here. <laughs> Fun, Mummy. Hi, Tina. All right. Oh, hello, Rudy. Yes, I was just practising my washing wizard performance for the school later. Well, I won't keep you. I just wanted to borrow that massive banana prop for the market. I thought I could use it to attract some customers. All oh, right. Yes, it's, it's back here somewhere. I'll, I'll take a look. Thanks. Hmm. Now then, where was I? Uh, oh, oh, yes. I am the washing wizard, and I need to ring my special magic bells. Hey, magic bells, eh? You know, you should ting a bell when you say that, Tina. Ting! Yeah, that's that's really good, Rudy. Uh, oh, yes, and and I must pull out that plug. A good sound effect for pulling out a plug would be... Yeah. There you go, Mr Sound Effects. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Glad I could be a help. Bye! But right now, it's time for some hard graft. Time to hit those city streets. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on trapping, and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi. Get into the back and Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. My lunchbox. Nearly showtime, Tina. Yep, let's rock and roll. Oh, are you here to pick up your equipment? That's right, Tina. We're due at the ferry and we could do with the lift. Okay, start loading up. Oh, 
Audrey had a motor car that always made a din. His mother said that noisy thing, go chuck it in the bin. <laughs> but as we said, no mother loved that car to be his I wonder what Liz is doing right now. special surprise for you. We're going to see Lisa's mum perform the washing wizard at a school. <gasps> Mummy will be really pleased. I miss you, Mummy. Oh, Flattery had the motor car until it was night, didn't <laughs> Lisa would love that song. <laughs> Hi, Tina. All set for your performance at school? Ah, uh, sort of. If I can remember my lines. <laughs> what about a sneak preview? Oh, OK. Where are my trusty rubber gloves? Go put them in the bin. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> really funny. Yeah, well, well, it's not meant to be funny. Anyway, then it goes. My gloves are down the plug hole. They're new to my ears. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard in years. Oh, the children will really laugh. See you at school, Tina. You're really funny. <laughs> funny? My acting's funny? I've spent all day trying to remember the washing wizard performance and I can't remember a thing. Everybody just keeps laughing at me. Why can't I get it right? Where did all the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's and the children dressed up Claude like the washing wizard. I told Granny Murray that Mickey John wanted me to do a performance for them as the washing wizard. But I couldn't remember the words. At nine o'clock, I got to the garage. I was trying to remember the washing wizard when the ferry boat band called. They wanted to find some props to make funny sounds for their new song. At 11 o'clock, I was trying to practice my performance again. But then Rudy popped in. He kept making daft noises for my washing wizard performance, but I just got more muddled. At 2 o'clock, I got back to the garage when the ferry boat band came to pick up their equipment. We loaded it into the taxi and I drove them to the ferry terminal. <laughs> they kept on singing their funny song. It was very catchy. At 3 o'clock, I got back to the garage and Mickey John called by to see if my performance for the children was ready. I started to act it for him, but I got muddled up. I kept thinking of the ferry boat band's song. Now remember, everybody likes a good laugh. I get it now. Everyone likes a good laugh. I've been too... too serious. Right, let's get ready to... To sing, to, to sing a funny song about a car. <laughs> First thing, funny car. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Boys and girls, he. Flattery had a motor car, it always made a din. His mother said, that noisy thing, go chuck it in the bin. But Flattery said, no mother love, that car to me is dear. And every sound in park, it makes his music to my ears. So, 
flattery took his motor car for tours around the world. Oh. And people stopped and listened as the engine thumped and whirled. Ah. And now his car is famous and his mother never moans. Its parts and plugs and rattles are as famous as the stone. Oh. If only Lisa could see me now. <laughs> And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Everyone likes a good laugh. And you had a good giggle. <laughs> it saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, you want to be home. <laughs> Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about the time away? And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the washing wizard because that's who Tina was going to be at a special school performance. Tina was a bit nervous because she couldn't remember her lines. A bit later, I did a puppet show for Lisa and the children. <laughs> we had such a good laugh. Honk, honk. <laughs> After lunch, the children and I had a music session and I let Lisa and the others into a secret. We were going to watch Tina's special performance at Mickey John's school. And guess what? Tina changed her mind about doing the washing wizard. Instead, she sang a really funny song about a motor car. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. <laughs>